Mount Etna Eruptions Mount Etna is an active stratovolcano on the east coast of Sicily, Italy, in the metropolitan city of Catania, between the cities of Messina and Catania. It lies above the convergent plate margin between the African plate and the Eurasian plate. It is the tallest active volcano in Europe, currently 3,329 meters high. Though this varies with summit eruptions. It is the highest peak in Italy south of the Alps. Etna covers an area of 1,190 square kilometers or 459 square mil with a basal circumference of 140 kilometers. This makes it by far the largest of the three active volcanoes in Italy, being about two and a half times the height of the next largest, Mount Vesuvius. Only Mount Tide in Tenerife surpasses it in the whole of the European North African region. In Greek mythology, the deadly monster Typhon was trapped under this mountain by Zeus, the god of the sky and thunder and king of gods. And the forges of Hephaestus were said to also be located underneath it. Mount Etna is one of the most active volcanoes in the world and is in an almost constant state of activity. The fertile volcanic soils support extensive agriculture, with vineyards and orchards spread across the lower slopes of the mountain and the broad plain of Catania to the south. Due to its history of recent activity and nearby population, Mount Etna has been designated a decade volcano by the United Nations. In June 2013, it was added to the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. According to Adrian Room's book Place Names of the World, the name Etna originated from the Phoenician word Atuna meaning furnace or chimney. He dismisses the hypothesis that Etna is from the Greek Atho, meaning I burn, through an Ioticist pronunciation. In classical Greek, it is called Aton, a name given also to Catania and the city originally known as Inissa, and in Latin it is called Etna. In Arabic, it was called Jabal Alan, or the Mountain of Fire. It is also known as Mungibetu in Sicilian and Mongebello or Montebello in Italian, the Italian word literally meaning Monte Mountain and Bello meaning beautiful, but the Sicilian word is actually thought to be from the Latin Mons and the Arabic Jabal, both meaning mountain, producing a tautological place name, Mountain Mountain. The term is not in common use today, although some older people still call it this. According to another hypothesis the term Mongebello comes from the Latin Mulciber, who placates the fire, one of the Latin names of the Roman god Vulcan. The people of the Etna sometimes use the jargon term Amunt Agna, simply the mountain par excellence. Nowadays, the term Mongebello indicates the mountain's top area of the two central craters encompassing also the cr Volcanic activity first took place at Etna about 500,000 years ago with eruptions occurring beneath the sea off the ancient coastline of Sicily. About 300,000 years ago, volcanism began occurring to the southwest of the summit, center top of volcano, then, before activity moved towards the present center 170,000 years ago. Eruptions at this time built up the first major volcanic edifice, forming a stratovolcano in alternating explosive and effusive eruptions. The growth of the mountain was occasionally interrupted by major eruptions, leading to the collapse of the summit to form calderas. From about 35,000 to 15,000 years ago, Etna experienced some highly explosive eruptions, generating large pyroclastic flows, which left extensive ignimbrite deposits. Ash from these eruptions has been found as far away as south of Rome's border, 800 kilometers to the north. Thousands of years ago, the eastern flank of the mountain experienced a catastrophic collapse, generating an enormous landslide in an event similar to that seen in the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. The landslide left a large depression in the side of the volcano, known as Valle del Buv, Valley of the Ox. Research published in 2006 suggested this occurred around 8,000 years ago, and caused a huge tsunami, which left its mark in several places in the eastern Mediterranean. It may have been the reason the settlement of Atlat Yam, Israel, now below sea level, was suddenly abandoned around that time. The steep walls of the valley have suffered subsequent collapses on numerous occasions. The strata exposed in the valley walls provide an important and easily accessible record of Etna's eruptive history. The most recent collapse event at the summit of Etna is thought to have occurred about 2,000 years ago, 
forming what is known as the Piano Caldera. This caldera has been almost entirely filled by subsequent lava eruptions of Etna follow a variety of patterns. Most occur at the summit, where there are currently, as of 2008, five distinct craters the Northeast Crater, the Voragin, the Bakanwova, and the Southeast Crater Complex. Other eruptions occur on the flanks, which have more than 300 vents ranging in size from small holes in the ground to large craters hundreds of meters across. Summit eruptions can be highly explosive and spectacular, but rarely threaten the inhabited areas around the volcano. In contrast, flank eruptions can occur down to a few hundred meters altitude, close to or even well within the inhabited areas. Numerous villages and small towns lie around or on cones of past flank eruptions. Since the year AD 1600, at least 60 flank eruptions and countless summit eruptions have occurred, nearly half of these have happened since the start of the 20th century. Since 2000, Etna has had four flank eruptions in 2001, 2000, and 2 to 2003, 2004 to 2005, and 2008 to 2009. Summit eruptions occurred in 2006, 2007 to 2008, January April 2012, and again in July October 2012. The first known record of eruption at Etna is that of Diodorus Siculus. In 396 BC, an eruption of Etna reportedly thwarted the Carthaginians in their attempt to advance on Syracuse during the Second Sicilian War. A particularly violent explosive, Plinian, summit eruption occurred in 122 BC, and caused heavy tephra falls to the southeast, including the town of Catania, where many roofs collapsed. To help with reconstruction after the devastating effects of the eruption, the Roman government exempted the population of Catania from paying taxes for ten years. The Roman poet Virgil gave what was probably a first-hand description of an eruption in the Aeneid. During the first 1,500 years AD, many eruptions have gone unreported, or records have been lost, among the more significant are, an eruption in about 1030 AD near Monte Ilus on the lower southeast flank, which produced a lava flow that traveled about 10 kilometers, reaching the sea north of Achireale, the villages of Santa Tecla and Stazo are built on the broad delta built by this lava flow into the sea, an eruption in about 1160, or 1224, from a fissure at only 350 to 450 m, 1148 to 1476 feet. Elevation on the south-southeast flank near the village of Mascalusha, whose lava flow reached the sea just to the north of Catania, in the area now occupied by the portion of the city named Onina. Thank you for watching.